Today is Sunday, the 19th of January, and we're fishing Shore Beach. What's going on people? Coming down to dig some worms. Got a full of space. Haven't been out for two and a half, three weeks now. It's been crazy. But as you can see, it looks like a summer's day. Really nice and sunny, black calm conditions. High tides, about six o'clock. So I'm gonna be fishing into darkness. But first, like I said, just wanna dig a few worms. Oh guys, really difficult to dig in today. Dug there, dug there, tried a couple of spots over there, and all I have is one worm, one tiny little worm as it as it is as well. It just doesn't seem to be any casts. And where there are casts, if they're so deep down, I'm hitting the rocks underneath. And yeah, I can't get to them. I think it's because we've had rough weather for the last uh, couple of weeks and it went down to like minus three last night so the worms have been pushed down really deep that's hard finding eh? I mean I've still got all the usual frozen baits at home I can use I was hoping to find a couple of worms might take a bit more might take a wander over there see if I can find any cars that way but all around here in my local spot Nothing at all. Okay guys, really struggling for worms today. I've moved from the sandbanks right over here in the distance, right over here somewhere, to over here. This is my third try. I'm quite lucky I've got 10 worms. But luckily I've got loads of frozen mackerel and stuff at home, so I don't think it's going to be worth the effort anyway, because it's going to be lots of white in around. So I think I'm going to try frozen some bakes. So what I do is I'll see you on the beach in a couple of hours. See you soon. Just like that guys, we're at Shaw and Beach. It's kind of four o'clock now. So there's not much sunlight. But sunset's about quarter past four these days. So it could be in for a nice sunset. The sea's nice and flat. Your bowl or wave coming in, but it should be too much of an issue. Um, yeah, about two and a half hours of high tide. Well, it's not set up yet, so I'm gonna get my gear set up and I'll show you how I'm gonna fish. That's how bad my digging session was earlier. It was literally, I doubt there's even 10 worms in there, it was that bad. But then I remembered my last trip, I had those lug worms left over, which I think were black black lug, I've frozen down. So got a couple of those I'm gonna stick on a one up one down rig with some tiny little size four hooks. But I don't know if you can see top of my rod slightly different there. Um looks quite light during daylight but at night Hopefully it should glow in the dark. We're messing around with some glow in the dark paint. So let's see that let's see if that works. But yeah. Just here I've noticed we've had a few roller waves come in and when it draws back it drops down about three foot or so. So that'd be a nice gully to cast into with a big bait. But this rod I'm just gonna cast out by stand tide a bit just as far as I can that sort of direction. And just yeah, let the tide do the work and see if we can find a fish. 
as you watched my last video. My mum is, I had a snap off behind my um, shop cleaner at the Ada, so I need to retie that on. I've got has to the all bright knot, so I'm going to have to give that a quick Google. It's not one of those knots you tie very often. Well, not for me anyway, I don't really replace shop cleaner an awful lot. I just do it when it needs doing. But, seeing conditions are so clear and look so good today, I wouldn't mind trying to um, find some pin white and live bait them. So, I imagine there'll be some bass and stuff around. So it's just a case to see what's here first. So I think this this one, I'm going to set up a two-hook flapper with some macro on it. See if we can find any small item first. And if they're in numbers, maybe we'll start live baiting them. This is a shop leader I like these in. It starts at £15, up to £60, so it's a tapered shop leader. And the reason why you use shop leader is um, so basically your line doesn't wait when you give it a cast um, it allows you to sort of cast up to six ounces so the rule of thumb is for every 10 ounces of line uh, for every 10 pounds of line you can um, cast one ounce weight so a 10 pound line you could cast one ounce without snapping all the way up to 60 pound line you cast up to six ounces and your line shouldn't break should be nice and safe so that's the reason why you shop leader so I like using a tapered one because you can get them not nice and small. My main line is uh, 15 pounds I believe, so it should be the same diameter. So it should be a nice small knot and go for the rod guides nice and smoothly. Okay, that's an all bright knot there. I like leaving tiny little tag ends of mine just to, just to the first session or so, just in case that knot slips a tiny bit under the weight of retrieving. Yeah, it's quite neat and tidy knot. You can see the same line uh, diameters there meeting up and joins together quite nicely. Look at that guys. What a beautiful sunset. That's one good thing about the winters. You get a nice sunset over the sea there. Big guys, just using a one up one down. Big chunks of mackerel, two O hooks. I'm just gonna whack that one out as hard as I can and see what we can find. Be nice to find some dogfish for a change, just to mix it up from the whiten. But yeah, I'm in for a treat about sunset. treat that sunset was. It was lovely. Hope you all enjoyed that. We've got a few little rattles from the orange tip right there on the right hand side. But in the water just here, I don't know if that's weed or maybe bait fish. It looks quite funny. It looks quite riffly. I don't know if that's hit on my line. Maybe it's just a load of weed. But I'm going to take it in in a minute and have a look. Nothing out of time on the right hand rod. Definitely had a few little rattles though, and the bait was chewed up, so I'm guessing it was a white in. But I'm going to take on my left hand rods and have a look at that one. Nothing on my left hand rods either. So I just re baited them up and chucking them back out again. Sun's well and truly gone now. The sky's still doing amazing things. Doesn't show up on cut on the camera. But the sky is really orange. So bright as well. Keep going battles with my left hand rod. So I think I'm going to take that one in. Um, I don't know if you can see it very slightly. Maybe it's a crab because it's so small. But I'm going to take it in and have a look anyway. You know I was talking about live baiting and whiting. The size of this one is perfect. We're about seven inches long, say. But that's what all the little rattles have been, I guess. So I might set up a live bait rig on my right hand rod. Or do I go on the small rod? I think maybe I might have one more cast of this. Let's say we're getting more white in. We're going to chuck this one back. And maybe set up a live bait rig. Check back this little filler. Really? Nothing, guys. 
I don't know if you remember earlier how white my Vodget was. Um, I'll show you what we'll do now. Got myself a little UV light here. Just give this a quick shine. Now look at it. You'll see it more in the dark, but it glows really well. So that's my little experiment I've been playing with. It seems to work, but the real test will be once it's actually dark, dark. There you go guys, double shot of Wyson, tiny little one on the bottom hook there, and the keeper size on the top hook, it's probably just over 30 centimetres that one it looks, but I'll get them de hooked and I'll chuck them back. Okay, pin wide to number two going back, let's see this swirl here, let's get a good chuck. Off that one guys. It's the second white and much better size. I'll chuck this one back as well. Off that one guys as well. Just thought I'd show you my Vobtip now. Look how green that is. Switch on the light. You can hardly tell it's been painted really. Pretty cool, eh? Hopefully in the summer, the sun will charge it up enough to glow by itself, but at the moment I'm just using the UV light, just trying a few things out. My other rod sit, you can't see the end of it. But this one, it's glowing like a beaut. Okay, I just lost another whiten on uh, the right hand rods that come off just off the surf here. Keep getting a big roll of waves coming in. Um, I've moved back literally three times because there's just been freak waves which rolls straight up the beach. But well, lucky I've just been at a dangerous way each time, so I moved in further back this time. Um, no obvious bites yet. It's been, I don't know, a bit slow, but I guess the water's quite clear as well. Normally, biting are everywhere this time of year, which they still are, but. But the size of the whiting just seems to be a bit smaller at the moment. Don't seem to be many keeper sort of sizes, they all seem to be thin ones. But I'm going to carry on fishing for a bit longer and see if we can find some other species. Just lost another whiting on a mackerel bait there on the right hand side. It came off from the surf. There's another good sized one that actually. That came off right on the surf. I thought I'd just do my usual temperature check. 3.8 degrees, so that temperature's dropped away quite a bit. And I'm still in shorts. <laughs> it's stupid, I know, but hey hey, I like wearing my shorts and I'm going to go away with my shorts. I just want it to be summer. Let's see if we can find some more fish, people. The other thing I've been playing around with is my Glamour Dot secret sauce. Look at that. Got it in a syringe. I'm going to try and put this in some log with them. Haven't tried it yet. But it glows well once you've got the UV on it. So let's see if we can make a luminous dark log with them. Okay guys, tiny words for tail. It went to a tail, definitely. Let's see if I turn the light off, see what it looks like. See the colouring in the tail there. The main body didn't really go in too much. It sort of squirted out everywhere. But I'm going to chuck that on the hook and see if that sort of tracks anything. First fish, guys, on Glam and Dark Worm. Another time, a little whiting. If there was going to be a species which is going to take it, it would have been a whiting, which it did. So, kind of happy to have it worked. But I'll keep experimenting around, see if we can find any other species. Let's get this little whiting back. It's starting to get a bit of a lip here. Can't see where the waves come in. Don't get stuck in one of these blue rollers coming in. Oh, 
off he goes. Okay guys, it's now about half an hour of high tide. So I think I'm just going to fish up to high tide. Um, I've already had it in the ears so dinner's ready. So <laughs> I'll probably drag it out another half an hour so before I'm properly in my dog's house. But yeah, let's see if we can find some more fish. Just lost another right on the right hand rod. They're in the size two hooks, uh, two o hooks. I think there's a little lip just down there, and I'm clipping it as I'm twinning them in the shallows. All that, all the whites are really small, so they're just coming off the hooks really easy. But it's three times in a row. No more bites yet, but I think it's going to look promising. I've got a feeling I just saw something at the corner of my eye then. Maybe you guys saw it. But I'll keep focus and see if we can find another fish. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going crazy, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lights. All in a dead line going straight across the sky. Not flashing, nothing. That's really weird. I don't think my camera's picking it up, but there's literally eight lights really far up, all in a dead straight line going across the sky. Don't know where they're coming from, but they're not flashing. Equally spread apart. Big line of them, that is absolutely crazy. I wish my camera would pick that up, but I don't think it's picking it up at all. Zoom back out again. But you have to believe me, there's literally, yeah, eight lights going across the sky, evenly spread out. They just keep them coming. There's more than nine, they're just appearing out of nowhere over here. I have no idea what that is. They can't be satellites, because there's too many of them. They're all in the same circulation. They're not swaying around. That's, um, I think that's Jupiter over there, or Venus. But they're coming up from behind that. That is crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. If anyone's got any ideas what that could be, let me know. I'm going to kind of watch this, because... I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Well, that was absolutely crazy. Can't see anything now. I don't think my phone picks any of that up, but it's literally a trail of about 20 UFOs. Well, I'm calling them UFOs, but I've got a clue what they are. Going from um, west to east, evenly spread apart, and just kept them going. They weren't swaying, they weren't flashing, in a dead straight line, following the same same line, we just kept them going and now they've gone. Nothing over Brighton way. But they're so faint to pick up on my camera, you couldn't see a thing. But yeah, I just don't know. <laughs> I thought I sprained myself. But it's high tide now, so I'm going to take my rods in. I've noticed a few little rattles here and there. So let's see if we've got any fish. Last class. Another Brighton. About 10 inches long, a really skinny one this one. But right, let's get him unhooked and we're chopping back. Time to release this white in. It's a really slimy one this one. Watching this surf. It's sort of just come out of nowhere, you can hear it coming. Off that one guys. Well guys, that was a nice little session fishing. I don't know how many white how many white in there was in the end. Probably close to ten. But yeah, nice sunset, nice little session out. And I'm sure I saw some crazy UFOs. <laughs> as, as crazy as that sounds, I'm sure there were UFOs. They were like stars so far up. You can definitely weren't planes and there's just lines and lines of them. I'm sure, I don't think my camera picked anything up. I spoke for about a minute or so. I haven't viewed the footage back yet. So I don't think it's, anything's going to be on the camera because they're that faint. But hey, that's quite interesting. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.